Today we're gonna talk about the two big highlights of the Kobayashi's Dragon Maid collab banner, Toru and Lukua. And yes, this is our second video about the highlights of these Dragon Maid collab banners. This time we are going to check out Lukua. Because last time we did already talk enough about Toru and now it's time to switch to the most surprising part of this whole Dragon Maid collab. But before that, I'm going to, like usual, tell you to join my Discord server if you haven't already. And if you really enjoy my content, maybe even think about becoming a channel member, which also gives you these perks. But enough of that. Lean back and let's get right into the massive Dragon Maid action. Our second highlight of this collab and uh, the character who is actually also sharing the banner with Toru, making this a very good deal. Lukua. She is the forest 5 star support, the newest one. And if I had to compare her to someone, I would say she is a mix of Odi and a double chain support. And you're probably thinking right now, Sino, you are crazy. You have been playing too much Master Duel. And yes, I have, but still, I'm not that crazy, okay? I can explain. While double chain supports enable damage heavy teams that mainly deal damage with autos and chains, Luko has a new type of support. A completely unique one to the game, because she's an active skill damage support. So she kind of fulfills the same role, but for another type of team composition. A skill damage one. And she's in the force element. And of course she is. We all know who the favorite child of Tour Dog is. And of course new toys go first to his favorite child. And that's also maybe your biggest drawback, weirdly enough. Because she would have been way more at home at the Thunder element, which is known for dealing big big damage with active skills. Forest uh, is a bit lacking, but worry not, there are still some options. And you're probably very confused right now, so let me first explain the quite huge assets of this dragon girl. And this lazy excursion starts at her equipment, because this lets her afflict mortality marks with her chain. And mortality marks basically just simply increase the active skill damage this enemy takes by 7% per stack, up to 10. What this means? She can potentially boost the damage of an active skill by 70%. I know, right? This is facts, you know? And if you don't believe me, here's a small damage comparison that will 100% convince you. Okay, now you know that this is insane. Uh, but the next question is, how does she afflict them? And yes, of course you are telling me now, we just read that her chain combo does that. Yes, but that's thankfully not all, because her chains are X cross chains. So her active skill is the savior in these dark times, because it can inflict two of them things with just one click to the whole field, because this is a OD-like global nuke skill. I'm saying OD-like, but it's more just like Lukua copied her homework one for one, and just uh, substituted poison with mortality marks, because that's exactly what it does. And ignore the slow part, we don't need that, the marks is the only thing that counts. So, now we know how she inflicts these, and we know what they do. But, is this even good enough in the current landscape of our favorite game Alchemy Stars? Can we put the gun down? No, Mr. Dog. Well, that's easy. Forest actually does have some quite good damage dealers when it comes to active skills. There's the completely free grindable character Mythos, who can use her active skill every other turn and this thing can hit up to 4 tiles. But of course that's not all, there are also some different flavors of active skill damage. For example, the also completely free welfare character Lola is perfect if you're looking for some single target damage, make sure to just use that aurora time. Or all these pretty big numbers were just for a show. 
So yeah, there are some really good candidates. If I had to name them all, there's the Mythos, Lola, Paloma and Co. All of these are great for different reasons and Lucua makes them even better, enabling a whole new type of team. Which is also perfect for CC and Co if you're aiming for that number one rank because you can now do burst teams with double chain supports, general teams with four total converters and a third forest team with active skill damage and all of these teams are going to do really really big numbers. Because that's what the forest element is known for. Big things. So, how good is Lucua? Well, I don't think I have to tell you anymore. I already told you that she is in theory insane. The applications so far are only pretty good. We are basically only waiting for one slip up by Mr. Dog and then it's over. Then Lucua is going to be completely busted. But that's not going to happen anytime soon and she isn't that great in non-forest teams. But I do have to respect this type of new team composition and how she enables it. So she's at least strong for now with huge potential for the future. So that obviously brings me to should you roll for Lucua? And yes, yes you should. If you only want to roll for one character, you should roll for Lucua. I mean you got 20 rolls for free, so hopefully you got her in these 20. And if not, then you might as well try. But thankfully our favorite dog actually showed some mercy to us. Two limited back to back, huh? But well. In trade for the suffering, he gave us this 5 star selection box I already told you about in some past videos. And you can either choose Alma or Lucua. And spoiler, Alma is only there for her looks. Gameplay wise, she is very subpar. And I already told you long enough how great Lucua is. So if you didn't already pick anyone with this box, you might as well just pick Lucua. Uh, but. There are her breakthroughs, and these are by far the best breakthroughs out of the whole bunch. While Taurus are pretty much the most unnecessary ones, Lucra is the exact opposite. Preemptive Strike is very important here. Just getting these two marks on all enemies directly on turn one and not having to just wait and wait and have to use this X chain is great. And her MBT is also really nice. One more stack with her active skill. Well, let's not talk about MBT or some of you might cry and <laughs> I don't want to rub salt in the wound. But yeah, if you can, you should at least pick up one copy of her and then maybe even pick the second copy or that preemptive strike with the selector pack but if you're a collector you should probably just get all of them but yeah her breakthroughs are really really good and you should at least pick up one copy i don't care how uh, just do it because it's very important for the future if you care about gameplay and if you don't then well you probably care about looks right and uh, yeah 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 and that was all from me. One last reminder to join my membership if you enjoy my content and of course also my Discord server. So make sure to do that. And of course a huge thank you to all of my channel members. You guys are great. And that was all from me. Have a nice day and see you next time.